This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, I'm in Eastern Henrico. More specifically, I am in Verina. And today, we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, three full bath home. This Cape is located here in an interesting subdivision. Directly ahead is a dead end street. So, you're not going to have many cars going by this location. Uh, one of the interesting things about the subdivision is that our lots are typically an acre plus, and uh, this lot in particular is over an acre, and so you've got plenty of usable space here uh, in this beautiful home. This home is newly renovated, which includes new roof, new kitchen, new windows, new heating and air, uh, new flooring, new paint. It looks absolutely stunning, and it also is very unique because we have a bedroom on each level, not something that we often see. Uh, the big benefit to that is, let's say you have someone with mobility issues, let's say in-laws, and they uh, don't wanna deal with a whole lot of steps, they can actually go in the back entrance, their bedroom level would be on that level, as well as a family room and a full ensuite bath, which makes it super convenient. Uh, if you like them, you can give them that level, however, if you want them to get the most out of their recent knee replacement, you can actually have them live on the top level and uh, just have to negotiate those stairs every single day. All right, here on the front, we've got vinyl siding. Uh, we've got about six steps going up and um, really love the, the view here. We've got a nice wide view. You can look out over your estate. Just a really nice look here from the front porch. You, of course, would need a riding mower here, take care of all this grass. And as we go in here directly ahead is gonna be our stairs, our walkway to the rear, and then our family room is going to be right here to the left. Let's start here. We have gray LVP, our gas log fireplace directly ahead is the focal point. Nice big bay window overlooking the front yard. This home does, of course, have a gray and white color scheme here throughout. Those are modern colors that we're seeing quite a bit here uh, in today's decorating world. Directly ahead is going to be space for your dinette. We've got white tile on the floor. It has a marble look. Of course, our sliders go into the rear deck and a nice open kitchen with granite countertops. All right, let's pop out on this deck and see what our view looks like back here. This is an oversized deck. It is newly refinished. You've got plenty of space back here to entertain. Of course, it's right off the kitchen, so super convenient. Our rear looks really good here. Low maintenance vinyl. Once again, those replacement windows are in place. Nice quiet location here, and we've got nice big backyard. If you are someone that likes to have a garden You've got enough space to do that. Just nice, wide, open space. All right, let's go back in and take a look at this beautiful new kitchen. All right, it's gonna be here to the left. We do have enough space there for, conservatively, three bar stools. And love the detail we have there on the top of the cabinetry. Uh, the appliances do convey, which include the stainless stove, the refrigerator, and the dishwasher. We have a nice deep stainless sink here. And let's see what they left us. Spring Creek Sweet Red. Let's see. It says that, uh, I'm gonna put my glasses on here. This wine is going to be perfect with everyday foods such as salads, burgers, pizza, and spicy chili. Wow. You know, last time I had Wendy's chili, I never really thought that I needed a, a nice sweet red to go with it, but um, I learn things every day. That's great. All right. Here to the right is going to be our stairs going to the lower level, and directly ahead is a door going to our bedroom that's actually on this level. So I really like what they did here uh, with this floor plan. You could actually walk from the kitchen to your bedroom here in just a couple steps, which is a really neat feature. Uh, we've got another nice big window here for this bedroom. And then to the rear is going to be a nice size closet. They don't have the rod in, 
but uh, as soon as that is in there, you'd have, a, of course, a functional closet. And our ensuite is going to be right here. Let's take a peek in here and see what we have. All right, we've got our tub shower area, tile all the way to the ceiling. Got a little cubby there, brand new tub there. Love the modern look of that vanity with the matching mirror. Just everything is new and clean, just a really nice look. All right, so that's gonna be our bedroom here on the first floor. We're gonna go down and take a look at the lower level. Now this, I hesitate to call this a basement because the vast majority of it is actually above grade, which is a really neat feature. You don't have the feel of being down in a basement. This is our bedroom down here on this level. We of course have good natural light with two windows there. We have a ceiling fan and our closet is directly here in the middle of the frame. Once again, you can customize that closet and uh, put in the appropriate rods and cubbies in there for your use. Our ensuite is right here. The thing I was thinking about with this particular level, and we'll see this as we go through, is if somebody wanted to put in a little kitchenette, there's a place that's perfect for it. And that way for small snacks or quick little microwave meals, somebody would not have to go upstairs and they'd have everything they pretty much need down here on this level. All right, we're gonna go back through the other section directly across from the stairs is going to be our common area. Uh, I love it down here because we have the LED lighting. We've got a nice high ceiling, which is nice. You don't feel like you're cramped up down here. This home is on well water and that is a treatment tank for the well water. That's the pressure tank that creates the pressure for well water. And then we have a sump pump there here in our other closet this is going to be a combination linen coat closet actually this would be a the regular clothes closet right there and uh so this is not considered a bedroom um so you could use that for whatever you saw fit and this has a carrier heat pump here heat pump of course provides the heating and cooling in this home all right so if we now go directly here to the left, I wanted to show you this nook. We've got this nook that actually is a bump out. This would be a great place to put a little countertop, a little dorm fridge, and maybe a, a, um, uh, a little convection oven or microwave there uh, in order to have a little bit of um, food preparation space. We are actually now in our laundry area slash utility room. So we've got connections right there and on the opposite side for our washer and dryer our electric water heater is under the stairs there plenty of space here for uh, shelving or cabinetry if you wanted to use this for storage and then we have a door here going to the rear now the thought process is is that somebody could park here in the parking area and then they'd only have maybe uh 20 feet to walk uh, maybe put some pavers here and just a short walk so they could come down and be in this lower level unit. It's a really functional floor plan for a multi-generational family. All right, let's go back upstairs and see what we have on the upper level. One of the big challenges I have with videos and trying to share information is that sometimes there's just not enough time. So I've decided to embark on doing webinars and um, you're going to have more information here in the next couple weeks but the webinars will probably be a good uh, hour and a half to two hours aimed at first-time buyers initially and we can cover so much in that time period so that when you are ready to buy you know exactly what to expect we can answer questions have more time to interact and i'm just excited about that possibility okay here at the top of the steps have a linen closet there. This is gonna be bedroom number three. Good space, nice high knee wall. So you can use all of this space. This knee wall is not gonna get in the way of any furniture or walking all the way to the edge. This of course is our closet. 
we do have a full bath here on this level and it is right here once again very similar styling to what we had in the other bathrooms nice big vanity tile on the floor this one is going to give us a nice big walk-in shower it's got plenty of space there and here to the right is going to be our final bedroom this is going to be a larger bedroom here plenty of natural light flows in our closet and once again we've got that high knee wall uh, notice that the vast majority of this home is solid surface flooring so there's not much carpet whatsoever actually i think the only carpet might be the stairs if i remember correctly so very limited amount of carpet here in this beautiful home please let me know what you think if you would like for me to do webinars i would be happy to uh, go ahead and do that we can cover initially just first time buyer issues but then after that i can go into other areas and uh, just make it a lot more uh, informative for others maybe people that are looking to sell or to move up or investment property or any number of other important issues max williams 804-402-7788 i'm reached on facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube, under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.